What is up everyone, my name is Jack Southall, back again with another video, and today um, I want to do a video just to talk about um, 2016, you know, my year, uh, some other stuff, and uh, talk about the year in the future, 2017, uh, just talk about some stuff, and you know, what is in the future for my channel, pretty much. Um, so, uh, this year, um, my channel has gone up, uh, gone up a bit, which is good. I started off with about like 52, 53 subscribers. Now we've only gotten to around 115 subscribers, which I know is not that big, but that was double compared to what we got last year, which I think is a very big improvement. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone for uh, subscribing to my channel, for checking out my videos. I, I really appreciate it, you know, seeing people check out my stuff and enjoy it. Um, also, big shout out to Billy and Campbell from the Bullshit Club. Thanks for being great mates this year and uh, having, you know, good stuff on YouTube and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, so talking about my plans for 2017, what kind of things do I want to do for my channel uh, going forward? Um, my plan is for some of the series I'm currently doing. JSW, I know I've only had one episode up, but I want to do more, hopefully. Um, and then there's uh, Shut Your Mouth. I'm hoping to complete uh, only the first WrestleMania, because I know it's a two-year thing for Shut Your Mouth, but I'm going to finish by WrestleMania, and then I'll go on to Here Comes the Pain, where I play um, whoever I decide to pick. So, Here Comes the Pain Season Mode will be in, I'm guessing, 2017 for sure, um, right after I finish the first year of Shut Your Mouth. Um, as for other games, it just depends how I feel, if I can do other games I want to. Um, but now that we've got all the gaming stuff kind of out of the way, I want to talk about how my reviews stand at the moment. Well, um, for reviews, I've decided to make this. And um, if you guys may or may not have noticed, the Raw and SmackDown reviews I've been doing have kind of dropped down a lot. I don't think I've done a single review of Raw and SmackDown for December, which for me, I've decided from now on, I will no longer be doing Raw and SmackDown reviews because they kind of take away the enjoyment from me. At first, they were fun. But now, you know, they're just kind of dragging on a bit because you've got two shows. One's two hours, one's three hours. So you've pretty much five hours of television that you're trying to wrap up in like 20, 25 minutes. You know, it's it's just, I can't be bothered anymore. But, like, here's the thing. I'm not completely erasing Raw and SmackDown from my channel. Like, if anything really, really big happens on either shows, I will do a video to talk about them because I feel like if you know, a big star returns, or there was a great match on Raw, I will come up and talk about it if it's worth reviewing or whatever. But not the whole show, just that segment and all that. So, um, yeah, that's how I stand with Raw and SmackDown. Uh, full show reviews are pretty much over at this point, but if there's a big moment that happens on the show, I will talk about it. Um, pay -per -view, I'm still going to keep doing pay-per-view reviews. I still love doing pay-per-view reviews. I'll keep using the um, the audio clip format that I've been doing for the past year now. I started for 2016, which actually kind of started accidentally for my Raw reviews because I was doing like this kind of stuff for Raw reviews. Like all through 2015, I was doing face cam Raw reviews. But then I kind of transcended into 2K16 uh, gameplay footage in the background. And then uh, because one of the files got lost or just fucked up, or I decided I'll just do the rest of it with pictures. And then that progressively went on to my uh, pay-per-view reviews, sometimes talking about a big topic, all that kind of stuff. So um, I do like the picture format. I know I kind of dumbed it down for Roadblock, which unfortunately, uh, because I'm a lazy dick, I think that's what it comes down to this year. I've kind of been lazy, and I want to kind of get up again for 2017, in my opinion. Um, I feel like I'm going to put in a lot of effort for my Royal Rumble review. Um, because uh, I'll have a look at some of my reviews uh, this year, and I, I, I like the new format. Even when it's lazy, it's still good to have a visual aid to kind of see what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, pay-per-view reviews with the pictures and the little funny snide comments and editing or whatever, that's still going to stay. Um, but and the predictions, they're going to keep going with the 2K17 gameplay, talking about each match, because I like that, the music playing. So yeah, they, they get the stay. Um, as for my second channel, um, bit of a news for second channel. Um, I was, I'm actually going to Brisbane 
tomorrow uh, to do some shopping with my family, kind of like I did last year. If you do follow um, my second channel, I did a vlog about going to Brisbane last year. So uh, if you want to check that out, please do. Uh, yeah, 2016, I'm going to be doing it again with my family. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get away with using this camera in the store. That's going to be pretty hard. I'm going to look like an idiot, whatever. I might try and get my phone in there because it's a bit easier to uh, film with your phone in like shops um, rather than uh, this little recording camera. Um, but if I go outside or whatever, I'll use this. So um, we'll just see how things kind of pan out for there. But yeah, Brisbane vlog for 2016. I will try to film as much as I can and make one for you guys so you guys can enjoy. Um, and as well, I'm thinking about doing music videos, not actual me singing and doing music videos, but like music related videos, just for, for something different for me. Um, because I'm obviously not gonna do skits for too long now that I'm out of high school, so I might talk about music. But the thing is, I don't know if I can do a proper review of an album or a CD or whatever. I think um, I, I need to do some practice. I'm not, I'm not sure, but um, I'll figure out something because I really want to talk about music. Uh, I have a do a discography review of one band where it takes you know one album per video, or I do one big video where I talk about an entire band's discography. So maybe I'll t take a look at some new albums and tell you what I think. There's a million things that I can do for music when it comes to 2017, uh, but and I'll let you guys know when, in the future what goes on for that. So. Yeah, this was just a little ramble, a bit of a rant, you know, about, not a rant, but a little bit of a ramble about what's going on with my channels in 2017, about 2016, all that kind of shit. Um, videos coming up in the future, I hope to get a shut your mouth video up soon, uh, and um, I'm trying to get Billy and Campbell to uh, do a year-end video, because you know I do the Jack Saffle WWE Awards, try to get them involved. Um, if I can't do that, I'll just do a... Um, video just myself telling you the categories and who I think should win and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I think guys for watching this video of me just yeah ranting on, raving, whatever. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below, you know, what your 2016 was. Was it good? Was it bad? I'm pretty sure most people said bad because everyone said this year sucked, which kind of did. Uh, if you want to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Twitter and Instagram is at jackamanlaw 31 if you want to check me out on those social media sites. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for a great 2016 and I'll see you guys in the future and I am out in 3, 2,